and Africans were not whipping people in the farm to walk by force, say they are slaves. They were not crucifying mm. people. We were not beheading our brothers and sisters because they are slaves, cutting off their prick and cutting off their leg, but locking their mouth together. African people were not doing those kind of things. You know, when but locking people mouth together, chaining their ear, chaining their... So I, I don't get the, the whole point when they say Africans were doing it to themselves. You know, the problem we have in Nigeria is that they teach us colonialism, you know, like some fairy tale story. Like 1960, Nigeria gained independence. 1963, Nigeria became, you know, there's no detail of what our parents went through under this so called colonialism. You understand? If, if there was detail, that's why if we knew, we would never respect these so called African professionals. We would never respect them. That's why they are the ones that teach us. They are our teachers, our elite teachers. They are the ones that create the education. You think they want to expose themselves to you, how they were conniving with mm. the colonial government, how all of them were happy to just be living in the boys' quarters near the white man in VI and Ikoi and Lagos Island, while all of us lived in the mainland like animals and couldn't walk around freely in our own country, but they could walk around freely because they were the lawyers and the doctors, the sophisticated blacks that the Europeans brought close as pets that betrayed their own people they will never tell you the, in, the indignities your people suffered. How they were whipped like dogs on the streets by these English people and their, and their African servants. Have you ever asked yourself what, the, you know, Nigeria never created the Nigerian army. We, we inherited it. Ne? The army was there, mm -hmm. uh, led by white men. When we became independent, they changed the badge for their uniform, say the Nigerian army. Have you ever asked yourself what kind of person works as army during the colonial time what kind of black person what kind of african person is willing to protect europeans against his own brothers whipping and killing them for europeans have you ever asked and have you ever asked a person what kind of country your country will be if those kind of people ever rise to power in your country the same people that were killing africans to protect european interests as army and police the west african mm. frontier force the Aousa boys, the this one, the Yoruba garrison, all these stupid black people now became military, now did coup, started ruling us. Same people that were killing us just 20 years ago for white people interest. Without that uniform that Europeans came to give them, what are they in Africa? Have you asked yourself that? Your, all your leaders, what are they? Without that uniform that Europeans came to, that uniform African, that camouflage has done more harm in Africa than anything we Africans can ever think of doing to ourselves. People that have worn that camouflage, that uniform. Do you know the atrocities that uniform has committed in Africa? So who brought that uniform to Africa? Who empowered that uniform? You are complaining as youth, SARS, SARS, and SARS, and SARS. Who trained SARS to be like that to you? SARS is trained by the UK police. Do you know that? That unit, SARS, they are trained by the Metropolitan Police. So you go and Google it. It's there. They admitted it. They are trained by the UK police. The UK police is under the Queen, man. They are the Queen's police, man. So you are complaining, eh, SARS? SARS kill us. Then you are con the people that are trained them to kill you, you are mourning them. Are you not stupid? You are saying it's in the past. It's history. You don't understand the dance between your imperialists and your local oppressors. You don't understand the dance. That is keeping you in awe, uh, just looking like a mumu, regurgitating nonsense from your mouth. Nah, 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 nah. You know, continually, without any analysis, any research, and I realize that the indoctrination that we call education in Africa is dangerous. Hmm. It has now become dangerous. The level of ignorance and stupidity in Africa, we can no longer ignore it or turn a blind eye. Because it is now becoming dangerous. Hmm. How easy it but is due to poverty to turn Africans against one another because of due to poverty. You understand? Look at the banditry, the Boko Haram, anything. Africans just embracing anything that can put food on their table. You know, you 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 made something uh, certain comments that. Buttress what Professor Ojoya said, like 
you can't know all of these things and not be angry and all that. And uh, you said the Irish people were even throwing parties. So what makes uh, uh, Professor Ujuanya's uh, comments um, critical to Nigerian people or serious to Nigerian people is not in what... No, no, it is the racism of it. Jeff Bezos, it is the racism of... No, you have to understand that Jeff Bezos is a racist. It is the racism of Jeff Bezos. Because if you go on Irish Twitter, my brother, professors, doctors, lawyers, all sorts of people are posting even meaner things about the Queen. Irish people in America, not Irish people in Ireland, though. Mm -hmm. Irish professors, but because they are white, Jeff Bezos has not gone to, to, to talk nonsense to them. So you isolated that of a Nigerian professor. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but Nigerians, well, you know, because Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, they are rich. Once yeah. you are rich to African people, no matter what else, to, no matter how dangerous you are to them, once you are rich, that is it. Once you have money, they lose their minds. They begin to watch, they begin to, because they believe that you have solved some kind of redo. When African people don't know that money is the most easy thing to get in this world because it is worthless. This is, the pro this is what we have lost as African people. Our ability mm. Mm, to have some self-respect in the face of treachery. So we see all these traitors that are destroying our country. Yeah, they are traitors. When you work with other people to marginalize your own people, that is treachery. Well, this, this when, is actually... If, if, if we are saying... That we cannot speak ill of the dead. We are not talking about those people that beheaded our ancestors and call them savages and treat them like monkeys and put them in cages and put them in chains and threw them into the ocean while they were bound, that commodified their existence, that turned them to nothing but cargo, that removed their humanity, that stripped us of our spirituality, our identity, our culture, I mean, of our resources. Of our well-being i keep telling people until we encounter this system there were no homeless people in africa when people are saying to me what african I, there was slavery in africa before you both came you both people just continue the slavery of africa like you know people are so a, a historical they don't understand history it's that there was there's always been conflict in humanity Men must fight. And if, except you are a stupid black man that believed the Yibo that stood that African people are not really men, then that's why you think the mm. African people will not fight themselves. So we fight ourselves in Africa just like anybody fight themselves in the world. And Africans were not whipping people in the farm to walk by force, say they are slaves. They were not crucifying mm. people. We were not beheading our brothers and sisters because they are slaves, cutting off their prick and cutting off their leg, padlocking their mouth together. African people were not doing those kind of things. You know, when padlocking people mouth together, chaining their ear, chaining their... So I, I don't get the, the whole point when they say Africans were doing it to themselves. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media. Download the BG Media app today or visit barglobal.net for more podcasts. Thank mm -hmm. you.